I scoured the internet to give you the best gaming monitors for $300 or less. And here are some of the top picks. At number one, you got the ViewSonic Omni XG2431. This is good because it's 244 hertz. It has great port options and low input lag. There's some bad to this. That is, this is only a 1080p monitor and it's 24 inches. And it's technically over $300 for price, but you can usually find it for under $300. Up next, we have the HP 24 inch X24IH gaming monitor. This is a good monitor because it's 144 hertz and it has one millisecond input lag. And what's even better is it's an IPS panel but there's some bad to this as well. It's also only a 1080p monitor and it's only 24 inches. There's only two ports for this, so you're pretty limited and there's no HDR. Up next, we got the Kuri, 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 27E1QA. This is a 1440p monitor at 144 hertz and it's 27 inches. And what's amazing about this is that this is usually under $200, but there are some bad to this one. It's limited on ports, especially one of the ports being only limited to 60 hertz. And it's a VA panel, so, you know, it just know that. And last, it's a brand that I'm not exactly too familiar with. And finally, we got the AOC CQ27 G2 27 inch monitor. Golly, these names are getting ridiculous. It's a 27 inch monitor that has a one millisecond input lag. It's also 1440p and it has 144 hertz to it. And on top of that, it has fantastic port options. But again, as always, there are some things you should know about. I wouldn't even necessarily consider these bad, but just no. It's a VA panel, so that's you know, it's limited to only coming in a curved option. And those are some of the best gaming monitors for $300 or less.